Hey guys, this is CG Animator, and today I'm going to show you how to make a really cool terrain in Blender. So before I get started, please rate and comment my stuff, subscribe my page, comment on my page. If you have any questions, just message or comment me. And that's it, so let's get started. There's three ways really that are the easiest on how to make terrain. I'm going to show you all three. So all three of them need a plane. Go into edit mode. Here's one. And I'm just going to show an example. If you subdivide, you get more lines and more vertices and more faces, right? So, oops. but it, here's a button called Fractal. If you press it, it says random FAC, which probably means fractal or whatever. Press OK, and it subdivided it, but it also brought some random placement to it. You do that a couple times, and it gets pretty random, but not too much. If the more you want it, you just press F, Z, and it brings out those random features. And if you want it more random, you just turn up this factor here when you press fractal, and it'll change it. You know, but there's not too much control over it. So, we're going to try another one. Plane. Go into edit mode again. Scale it up a little bit. Press W, subdivide, 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 subdivide one more time. Okay. Now you have a bunch of vertices. Just A, to deselect and hold control and make a circle or a shape that you want your mountain to look like. And it, th that comes out. And if you want to bring it up, you just press G, Z, up, and go up or down. Or you just pull on this blue arrow. And that's big enough and those are really sharp edges and nothing like that looks realistic so you just press smooth here in the mesh tools not set smooth but just smooth and the more you do that the more it goes into the other vertices down here and makes it look better with a better transition but then you press set smooth and then you press A and then A again to deselect and then select all then you press smooth a couple more times then it says smooth again and then you go back and you have a pretty cool looking mountain it's kind of rainy and to fix that you just go here and the mo add modifier and subsurf two levels and that looks pretty nice and you know you can add like a drop valley thing down here and that's all there is to that method. It's really simple, really easy, and the uh, end results are really nice. You can add um, textures and stuff, like pictures, like I showed you in my UV mapping and texturing tutorial. If you haven't watched that, I suggest you do, unless you already know how to UV map. Add another plane, go into edit mode, subdivide, subdivide, divide, subdivide, uh, one more time and then go into sculpt mode press N to bring up sculpt properties and there's draw, smooth, pinch, play, grab, layer, flatten but all you really need to make terrain is draw and smooth you can use grab what grab does exactly what it says it just grabs up a certain amount of vertices to make stuff like this But nothing really that makes it look really nice if you do it like that. Inflate, airbrush is so that you don't have to keep moving it and it just keeps going. Like if you're inflated, looks like you're inflating a balloon, but we don't really want a balloon. We want just airbrush. And that's size and strength is pretty good. And if we just hold it, it goes up. And we can increase the strength. Or the size for the side. Like if we made a circle around, we increase the size. And then lower the strength. Put it in the middle. And that's another way to make terrain for video games and stuff. It takes a little bit of practice. 
but once you get it, it's really worth it because you can make cool animations like fly through mountains or something. And that's all there is to that, really. You know, keep rating, subscribing, and commenting, and I'll keep making tutorials. I'm gonna make a lot of tutorials, and just keep commenting and subscribing. Thanks for watching this. Bye.